Hello everybody and welcome to another Jaguar Raves YouTube video. And in this one we're going to be talking about toxic relationships. Now, thing about toxic relationships, where to begin? Well, it comes to my understanding that in the past I have had toxic relationships before and you know sometimes it can be hard you know uh for somebody that feels like it needs to be avoided it just keeps coming back time after time after time again and it's hard to leave a toxic relationship because let's say you spent so many, you know, years into this toxic relationship. Or let's just call it relationship for now. You say you've been in this relationship for, I don't know, maybe a couple months. That turns into a year. And it goes great. The only thing is that sometimes people can lose interest in one another or one of them can lose interest in the other. And um, really, it just comes down to, okay, you know, we, we said our things, you know, but I think it should be different. Uh, we should see other people and stuff like that. But let's say it doesn't work out. Let's say you still are stuck in the same spot as you were, just trying to struggle your way into another relationship when all in doubt uh the other person on the other side is already getting uh it hard and it's not is not having any luck so what do you have left okay so you were in toxic or you were in a relationship but then you decide to see other people but all of a sudden, you feel like while well, you got separated into that relationship that you spent so many years on, just talking about one another, complimenting, filling each other up with love and stuff like that. And then finally, you know, separating your own ways uh, and finding another true love and it doesn't end up going well. Uh, then you go back to what you used to have and you still try to contact that first relationship and it turns into a catastrophe. It turns into what we like to call toxic relationship. It's, uh, it's just because you're, you find yourself hopeless and you want to f find the love that you have nowhere else to go but to go back to what your relationship was. And you know, some some of the times, you know, people can just move on and and uh, a relationship is a relationship that are based on two people. Could be two males, two females, or a male and a female. And, uh, you know, whatever it can be, you know, you have your difficulties in a relationship as all relationships go. And then you find yourself, you know, hopeless and useless. And, uh, yeah. But all I'm trying to say is that when you are in a relationship, because I've been in a relationship before online not actually face to face like on the streets or anything like that because i you know i don't parent i could do that right but i don't unfortunately and so i only been on one relationship and that was online just one my whole life and it never been uh, occurring to me that i had to face to face well usually with the person of the individual and because of that, you know, it's been kind of hectic. And it's, you know, it wasn't the best thing. But then we got back and, you know, it's just the way it was. Uh, but that's the thing with toxic relationships is that you always get 
come back and come back and come back. It's like you go to your therapy, you go to your therapist and you say, okay, I have a problem. And my problem is that I can't handle being alone all my life. I need somebody in my life and I'm afraid that if I be with that individual, something might go wrong and I might just be depressed and upset at the same time. Thinking that you did something wrong, you say to your therapist that you did something wrong and then you go back to your therapist saying, I did something wrong. <laughs> I mean, it's just the way it goes. I mean, if you're into therapy and stuff like that, when you have depression and, you know, it, let me, but hey, I mean, relationship is complex. It's complicated. It's hard to come by. And, you know, sometimes like back then people were always together, right? They were, you know, you remember the old vows that always people say every wedding is that, uh, till death do us part. Uh, so through sickness and in health and, uh, you know, all the vows, we all did it before. We all heard of it before. And may you both, until you both shall live or something like that, where you're basically committed to each other to life. But nowadays, it's nothing like that for marriage. But marriage, I'm not talking about marriage, I'm talking about relationships, which relationships can get into marriages and can get into kids. Usually relationships are also based on people that have kids and get kids before marriage. It's just what happens in these days. Um, and sometimes, let's say they get kids in a relationship, you know, do their thing. I'm not going to quote unquote what it is because I'm sure you know what it is. But let's say they do it, for example, have kids, are still in a relationship, but then break up and, you know, they have the kids, but then they're going back and forth, back and forth. Now, I know that might not seem like a toxic relationship in that way, but... Theoretically, you just got kids in a relationship and then you, you know, something happens, let's say, and you're just, you know, you're, you're both separated. Well, one of them is taking after the other. Uh, let's say if you just had one kid and one's taken after that kid and the other's not. Well, it doesn't, for her or to him, it doesn't seem fair if her or him only does it. So, you know, it goes back and forth, back and forth, kind of like a toxic relationship. And, uh, you know, it, it is what it is. I know I haven't really talked about relationships in a long time, but I just thought I'd bring this thing up about toxic relationships and what it means to be in a toxic relationship. Because I said before, I've been in one and... It's, it's devastating. It's uh, hard, but it is what it is. And, you know, you always, for people, you always get, come back for more and more and more. But there are ways to solve the problem. And I'm pretty sure you can figure it out for yourselves. I'm still trying to figure it out for myself, right? Um, but no, that's just, if you're struggling with a toxic relationship, just think of it this way. I'm no therapist. I just will speak from the heart and my message to you people out there, if you are watching, whomever is watching, if you're subscribed to me, if you're not, uh, listen closely. If you're in a toxic relationship, you must choose if you are determined to be in a relationship. You have to promise to be in that relationship. And you have to be committed in a relationship. And if you say you don't want to see the person anymore, just don't see the person anymore. Just don't even think about the person anymore. Because if you think about the person for a lot more than you, you know, do, then... 
It just means that you're coming back for more talks with that individual, which is not a good thing, not healthy, because you apologize and you say, I'm sorry that I've done what I did. But yeah, just think that if you want to be in a relationship, stick with it. Otherwise, just move away from it. Don't even think about it. It's hard because it's been like, say, years of a relationship to build on. And it's hard. But just notice that to just push forward and you'll get there someday. And you might meet a different woman entirely. And maybe it will work out for you. Or a man, let's say. Let's say you meet a man, a different man, and it just works out perfect. And it actually went better than the toxic relationship, which was unhealthy, by the way. But anyways, that's all I have time for today. If you like this video, leave a like. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button and punch it right in the face, right in the kisser. And uh, also ring that notification bell and ding it if you want more video updates such like these ones and more. And as always, this has been your boy Jaguar Raves and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye for now.